Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of pick number seven of my favorite 31 vocalists of all time. We're counting them down. Number one is in the very near distance, very close distance. I can see it from here. We're almost there at the end of the month. We've been counting down our favorite singers across all genres all month long today for pick number seven. She's pretty damn special, I think. Um, and she's still killing it today. She's taking a little break from the road, right? She's had some little health concerns, right? But hopefully we'll be seeing her back better than ever. Let me bring to the stage, of course. It can only be Ann Wilson from Heart. Yes, indeed. What an amazing singer. She has been thrilling me for decades with her vocal ability. Beautiful woman, too, of course, both her and Nancy, her sister. But uh, more importantly, so, so talented, right? Um, just, you know... Going to see Anne singing front and heart, you know, a bunch of times over the last like decade and a half. And every time I walk out, man, going, holy cow, she's still singing as great as she always has. She was a force to be reckoned with back in the day, and she still is to this day uh, at 70 something years old. You know, just absolutely incredible. Just what a singer, what a singer, powerhouse singer. And, uh, a lot of cool vocal performances over the years, you know, but picking out my three favorite albums, yeah, not that difficult. Got to start off with uh, Dreamboat Annie, of course, to kick it all off, right? Magic Man, title track, Crazy On You. Oh, I love Crazy On You, one of my favorite songs of all time. Soul of the Sea, uh, White Lightning and Wine, Sing Child. She's so good. What a great hard rocker there. You know, How Deep It Goes. Again, the title track reprise just, you know, this might be my favorite, probably is my favorite heart album of all time and probably overall some of my favorite vocal performances from her. But, you know, there's more because, of course, we're going to go with Little Queen, number two. There they are, right? Uh, you know, got Barracuda on here, Love Alive, Sylvan Song, absolutely amazing dream of the archer so good kick it out little queen the title track man just, i love when she does that kind of playful just kind of like a cat springing type of thing so good cry to me uh, classic stuff on there and then uh, i gotta pick dog on dog and butterfly which there's some gorgeous stuff on here you know cook with fire is just killer rocker you know high time is great hijinks straight on good groovy hard rock song dog and butterfly is just absolutely gorgeous that song, I love the lyrics to that song. You know me, guys, I'm not much of a lyric guy, but man, when I listen to Dog and Butterfly, the whole story grabs me, uh, you know, about the, the, just the whole, it's a whole story about innocence, right? You know, the innocent little dog puppy chasing after butterflies in the field. They don't know any better, right? It's what they do. It's just so good, man. It's just, uh, it, it just never fails to bring a tear to my eye. So good, you know, lighter touch, great stuff on here. Excellent, excellent tracks. Um, all these three albums are just great. And, you know, again, this is early in her career. She sang a lot of great stuff in the 80s and into the 90s and more recently, too. I mean, those last couple of hard albums are pretty terrific. As far as my favorite vocal performance of all time from uh, from Anne, hard. I, I was tossing up between a couple of them, but ultimately I'm going to go with a song from Dog and Butterfly that I did not mention. Did you catch that? Uh, Mistral Wind. Man, how great is that song and how great is she on that, man? You know, she's like, she can reach those highs. And I mean, you know, she has over the course of her career, she's reached these highs kind of like like vintage Robert Plant, right? Um, she's got that style of vocal. And man, Mistral Wind is just oh, so good. You know, it's folky, it's hard rock, it's epic. It's just, and she's just in control from, from the get-go. So good, so good. But yeah, you could pick any, any, any heart song is a great vocal performance from her. But yeah, that's my pick. Uh, and these are the albums, of course. Classic stuff from Ann Wilson. Uh, let us know what you think, Ann, down in the comments below, as well as your pick for today, pick number seven. And we'll see you tomorrow to start off the work week with number six as we finish up the month of August with our favorite singers, right? The top six are coming at you. Who do we got coming still? I think you folks know who I've, I've been missing so far this month. You should have a good idea if you know me, right? But uh, we'll see how it goes, right? How it all plays out. Till then, this is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, get the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. 
Thanks in advance for all your support there, folks. For those of you who do take part, we greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you soon here with more stuff. Ranking the albums of Anthrax coming up in just a little bit. Join me for that. And uh, we'll see you then. Of course, today it's all about Ann Wilson, the lady herself, one of the greats. We'll see you tomorrow for another one. Until then, I am Pete Paro. Have a good weekend, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.